No, no, no. I won't calm down. Do not tell me to calm down. So I never have space on a pissing shoe rack because of your freaking heels. You're always on your phone when we're out together, and the amount of freaking kale in our fridge is really starting to piss me off. <laughs> Look, I love you, Sarah. I really do. Okay? But things are gonna have to change. And I, I, I don't know, maybe sometimes around the house you could help out. Maybe like do like the odd little tiny thing. I, I'm not asking for a lot. And I, okay, I get it. Right, like, okay. But try taking out the trash cans once in a while. Just garbage to the outside. That's all I need you to do. Oh, is it just me? Or are all parents just ridiculous? <laughs> Seriously, they baffle me. But I've got a plan. And it works. And this is my guide to surviving proper rubbish parents. It's not easy being a hugly stepsister, you know. <laughs> Everybody has we feel so sorry for poor little Cinderella. <laughs> and what about me? Don't I deserve some sympathy too? Did the prince ever dance with me at the ball? Does my fairy godmother ever show up with a magic wand? <laughs> not on your life. <laughs> First thing I learned to do that, you know, grew up, mastered it by five. You know, everyone seems to think that the key is how long you leave the tea bag in, and yeah, obviously that's like important. I don't want to discredit the tea bag. But the real skill is knowing what mug someone wants. Honest, like, it's the first thing you see before you even think about taking a sip. I've actually got this, um, like a superpower, just knowing. You know how someone takes the tea and what cup they want? My mum is your bog standard, white ceramic, get it in me, get on with it, no fucking about, never put a fancy bit of china in front of my mum. <laughs> <laughs>